Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Tardis and welcome to another Doctor Who Steelbook unboxing video. Normally I get these things from Zavi, however like uh, the last couple of uh, current series ranges, series 11 and series 12, this has been an Amazon exclusive one. So I'll open up this thing and we will take a look. But actually, tell you what, before we actually take a look at the steelbooky goodness inside, let's remind ourselves on where we are for the current run of the show. Here we've got the steelbook for Doctor Who, the 11th series, uh, where we've got this photo that was taken during the filming of The Ghost Monument by actor Sean Dooley, who I believe just took this photo on his iPhone uh, while they were driving home from filming. The, right, the lighting was in just the right place, the TARDIS was in the background. Jody, get out the car, we've got to take this photo. And then it wound up being one of the best promotional images for the show ever made, ever. Here we've got the 12th series, which also includes Resolution, because that, for whatever reason, was not included on the series 11 steelbook. Uh, we actually don't know, or at least I've not been able to find out who this artist is. Uh, I just did a quick Google search before doing this unboxing and I couldn't find a name. Uh, so if you folks know who did this incredible artwork, let me know. We've got uh, Jody Whittaker and the master here on the front. And on the back, we've got the rest of the fam, uh, Yaz, Graham and Ryan. And with that reminder out of the way, let's take a look at the series 13 steelbook. Uh, which is still in the wrapping. I've, this is the very first time looking at this. Uh, we do know the artist for the Series 13 still book. This is Alice XZ, uh, who she goes by online, uh, Alex Zhang, uh, who has done incredible artwork for Doctor Who before, specifically, for at least from my recollection, the Titan Comics range. I follow her on Instagram, and she's recently, like in the past day or two, posted images of similar style of artwork for a like Best Buy exclusive Hunger Games steelbook collection uh, based in America. It almost makes me wish that I cared about the Hunger Games, because the steelbook's there do look genuinely gorgeous. But yeah, so the complete 13th series here. The 13th Doctor is back in this six-part event serial adventure. Starring Jodie Whittaker, Mandip Gill and John Bishop, the Doctor is questioning everything about her past and is searching for answers. Packed with action, humour, terrifying new villains and iconic returning monsters such as the Sontaras and the Weeping Angels, Doctor Who Flux tells one story across a vast canvas. From Liverpool to the depths of space, via the Crimean War and a planet named Atropos, which shouldn't even exist, fighting old old foes and new creatures from beyond our dimension, the Doctor and company face a race against, and through, time to uncover a universe spanning mystery. What is the Flux? One thing I like compared to the other Steelbooks is that because this is one long epic serialized story, the with cast members is significantly longer, uh, with Jacob Anderson, Kevin McNally, Annabelle Scully, Sarah Powell, Craig Ells, Barbara Flynn, Sam Sproul, Rashenda Sandal, and Craig Parkinson. The, the cast for Flux really was pretty spectacular. But as you folks might be able to see in terms of the spines, we go from Doctor Who the Complete 11th series, the Complete 12th series, to Doctor Who Flux. So for those of you who want complete uniformity from these steelbooks, you're not going to get it here. Goodness knows what's going to happen for the upcoming specials, if they get their own steelbook release, or series 14, even if that does get called the Complete 14th series, blimey. But most importantly, I know what you folks are thinking, what about Doctor Who Revolution of the Daleks? Because that story is not included on the Flux Steelbook, but it's also not in the 12th series. That has its own standalone Blu-ray release, a little bit like Twice Upon a Time. I really hope that's fixed somehow, even if it is just a standalone set. I may actually have to go on eBay and get like a customized steelbook because I, I'm not even like a huge fan of the story. I think it's pretty good, but I, why is it not here? Like, it's a six episode run. I know that the episodes are longer than your average Doctor Who story, but Come on, you can squeeze one more story on this set. And before even opening it up, the 11th series, that's a four disc set. The 12th series, that's a five disc set. And Doctor Who Flux, two discs. However, I believe it has the same RRP. Now I understand steelbooks are for collectors and there's always the premium price, but come on, you, why do you not have Revolution of the Daleks on any steelbook? Especially when fans spoke out when this steelbook was first announced. I don't believe that Resolution was meant to actually be on this originally when it was first announced, but fans spoke up and said, hey, you're missing a story, and they added Resolution here. So I think the same thing happened, but the BBC were just like, nah, we're just gonna leave a story. So anyone who gets these on Blu-ray, you're just gonna miss out on a pretty pivotal chapter of the story. Like objectively speaking here, it would be kind of rough to go from the Timeless Children to 
the Halloween apocalypse. Like, okay, where did uh, where did Ryan and Graham go? How did the Doctor reunite with her family? Lots of questions. How did she get out of space jail? Anyway, how is she going to get out of this plastic packaging? I'm going to rip it out and forever ruin the collector's value of these sets, which is absolutely the way to go here. Here we go, let's open this up. So yeah, Alice XZ's artwork is absolutely phenomenal here. I think, and I don't mean this in a shallow way, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor is easily one of the most like photogenic Doctors ever. Just the incredible like design of her costume, which I wish she would change a bit more often, but the coat is brilliant, the hair's brilliant. And on the back here as well, we've got John Bishop and Amandip Gill as well. We'll open this up and see what the thing looks like as a full spread. It's beautiful. This is absolutely brilliant. I think as much as I love that uh, iconic promotional image from series 11 and this artwork here, this is my favorite Jodie Whittaker artwork of the Steelbook range, hands down. But yeah, let's open this thing up. So we've got a bunch of art cards here. This is a two disc set. Uh, both of these discs, which contain Halloween Apocalypse, War of the Sontaran, uh, Once Upon a Time with extras. And then we go to disc two, which contains Village of the Angels, Survivors of the Flux and The Vanquishers. Both discs have the same artwork. Uh, let's just take these discs out. And yep, yeah, oh, okay, so they've used the same artwork for the disc and the same artwork for the back here. Um, okay, that seems a little bit strange. Anyway, Doctor Who, the complete 13th season. So we've gone over the disc. Oh, there's a discrepancy here. Wait a second. So disc one apparently contains, according to this booklet, the Halloween Apocalypse, War of the Sun Towns, Once Upon a Time, Village of the Angels. That's the first four chapters, but the front of the disc says that it doesn't contain Village of the Angels. Very strange. Uh, what I'll do after I've unboxed this is that I'll actually go onto the discs and find out properly for you. Yeah, but this is strange. So firstly, they've just recycled the artwork for the discs for the back of the Steelbook artwork, and they appear to have the labeling of the disc wrong. Like regardless of what's on the book, contrasting with what's on the disc itself, like something here is definitely wrong. But anyway, let's go through the art cards. And if I swear to God, if one of the art cards is this piece of artwork, I think I'm gonna throw this Steelbook out the window. Let's take this little sleeve off. Uh, I always like to try and keep and preserve these things. <laughs> BBC, Doctor Who Flux. Flux. <laughs> Whisper it. Okay, so yeah, this is the awesome image of Jodie Whittaker through the rainbow pattern holding us on its screwdriver. I saw this in uh, electronic billboards all around Manchester uh, when Flux was starting to broadcast. So there's Amanda Gill as well, just reaching towards the camera. <laughs> there's uh, John Bishop with his walk, because he's going to walk right out of here. And oh, pfft. Okay, maybe that's me being overly mean. Like, there is a difference between having this artwork on a poster and having it in the store. Okay, okay maybe I'm being a little bit overly mean. But yeah, uh, these are double-sided, but you just get the uh, Doctor Who flux with the same rainbow pattern on the back here. So let's go over this card now that uh, we do know that there's something incorrect about it because of the labeling here. So the special features, bringing Carvanisa to life, introducing John Bishop as Dan, Mary Seacole and the Sontarans, meet the Ravagers, the return of the Fugitive Doctor, meet Vinda and Belle, launch trailer, and an audio commentary for chapter two. Who's on the commentary? I I'd like to know, but the booklet doesn't say. And special features for disc two, Kate Stewart and Unit Return, Meet the Sontarans, The Flux Story Breakdown, John Bishop Video Diary, and a series sneak peek with Mandip Gill. And honestly, as I've gone along with this unboxing, I just feel a little bit more disappointed. I know that these are special features from the Doctor Who YouTube channel. And you know, I guess it's pretty cool to have these on the Steelbook, I guess, so that you've got them in a, an official capacity. But maybe here the labeling is wrong because of the Village of the Angels um, discrepancy here. But there's, I believe on the Doctor Who YouTube channel, there was like a Weeping Angels special feature here. Uh, I do believe that there was also like directing Doctor Who with Jamie Magnus Stone. If you're going to have the YouTube, like Doctor Who YouTube channel special features on this steelbook, why not have all of them? Like, it's not like you're, you're lacking for space. It's only a two disc set. But like I said, maybe this is an actual issue with the steelbook like labeling because Village of the Angels is, I don't know what discs it's on at this point. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed in this release just in terms of a presentational capacity. Like this, uh, obviously the front cover is absolutely superb. The back cover is superb as well. It looks brilliant. It looks beautiful. This is gonna like look amazing on a shelf. However, like 
they've used this artwork of the, of the trio like multiple times across the set, including on the discs as well. The discs or the booklet are labeled incorrectly. Either way, like there's an issue somewhere. There's no revolution of the Daleks, even though this is a set that goes for the same RRP as the other Steelbooks, but is only six episodes. The only thing that could potentially redeem the set is this commentary for episode two. But from this booklet, we don't know who's doing the commentary for episode two. It would be nice to just have a thing like it's a labeled thing here it's got the launch trailer but does it have the bbc america trailers with that incredible like what was it called uh it was like like beneath my skin music from gargantuan music those were awesome trailers those would be pretty cool to have on the set as well it does have the flux story breakdown so if you wanted to marathon the full thing and figure out what on earth was that all about you guess you've got that there so yeah like i'm glad that i've got a consistent collection with a steelbook but this in terms of the actual features and also outside of the actual steelbook itself the actual like choice of artwork and the issues here this is this is a bit of a letdown so far so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to pack all of this away and then i'm going to uh, figure out just to, to confirm for you lot at home what is on what disc okay so i've put disc one of the steelbook in my playstation 4 so Let's solve the mystery, the first question that must never be answered. What disc is Doctor Who Flux Village of the Angels actually on? To select audio navigation, press enter now. There we go. Okay, let's go for it. So, we're after... There's no episode selection? I guess that's in scene selection then. Okay. Okay, so Village of the Angels is not on this disc. Okay, so the booklet was wrong. It was the booklet, not the disc. Unironically though, I do love the shifting artwork with episode to episode. That looks really, really cool. Okay, I see Call Me the Harvey Defender Bell launch trailer. I've got to, okay, I've got to watch that launch trailer. I love it. Unironically, once again, one of the best trailers of the revival. But okay, I also really want to know who is on this commentary for episode two. I'm glad that it was episode two that I got a commentary though. War of the Santarans was like easily head and shoulders my favourite episode of uh of Doctor Who Flux. So okay, chapter two, War of the Santarans commentary. Like even on the Blu-ray menu, like I mute my webcam, it doesn't say who's in the commentary. I I do I have to listen to the commentary to find out? Hi there, and welcome to the audio commentary for War of the Sontarans. Um, I'm Jamie Magnus Stone, the director of the episode, and I'm really lucky to be joined by uh, a few people, including Sarah Powell. Hi, um, I'm Sarah Powell. Oh, cool, Mary Seacole. Play Mary Seacole in this fantastic episode of War of the Sontarans. And uh, Dan Starkey is here as well. I'm Dan Starkey, and I'm nice. Sville. <laughs> And we also have Ray Holman. Hello, I'm okay. Ray Holman. I'm the costume designer on Series Flex. Excellent. And um, we're going to be watching War of the Suntar. Okay, unironically, that's a pretty awesome guest list. Having to be pulled at breakneck speed as well. And Look at them go! I guess went on disc two just to be certain uh, whether or not Village of the Angels is on this disc, just in case. And yes, it is here. Yes, I'm very happy to say that <laughs> it is here. Yeah, that use of artwork in, in the menus is really, really cool as well. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm so glad that I did go on the Disc 2 set because Weeping Angels Return and Directing Doctor Who features. So there are features on this Blu-ray that aren't advertised in the booklet. Mike, how does that happen? Oh, okay, f fine, whatever. It's just a booklet. Thank you so much for watching this Steelbook unboxing video. If you want to see more of these, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to keep up to date on all future unboxings and collections in the future. My name is Mr. Tardis and I'll see you folks next time.